In this video, I'm going to show you how to get both day and night render scenes from just one render. Okay, what do I mean by that? I mean, you can just render once and you save out both day and night render. So I'm just going to show you how right now. Let me go ahead and import the file that I'm going to use. I'm going to attach this file in the description. So do where to download it and follow along with this tutorial. So when you import it, you can place it wherever you want. All right, so I'm just going to select these two cards and I'm going to delete them. Come over here, set the double viewport. Okay, I like to work with double viewport so I can be setting my camera in one and working in the other one. All right, so now that I've done this, let me go ahead and set my camera. I'll come over here to this camera icon, select Corona. Since we are using Corona renderer, just select Corona and then draw the camera like this. Click here, hold it down, and then take it towards this diagonal side. All right, let's go ahead and set up the camera. Okay, so now we're done with the camera. Let's go ahead and set the lights. All right, because we want to do two scenes, okay, the day scene and the night scene from just this one render, we are going to be using this. Let me go ahead. In the scene, we are going to be using the multi maps. Okay, with this multi maps, you can create as many maps. You see, now it's two, I can make it six. And it will be six okay you can add different hgri maps in here with which you now control with the light mix you can see light mix with which you cannot control the light mix to control the type of light you are going to get you can have overcast you can have the day okay noon you can have dawn dusk all those things you can have all of them in just one render so with the light mix you turn off all the other ones and then save out the one you want or you can just you know save all of them at once if that's what you prefer but <laughs> i wonder why you want to do that so i'm just going to set it to two okay so we can have the normal afternoon and then the evening the night view for the afternoon render i am going to use the corona sky for that okay for this particular evening render the night render i'm going to use um the night hdri and then i'm going to click hit open and then okay but before i proceed i'd like to do material override so i override all the materials in this scene using a default legacy material so when you're looking at things they are all going to be white all right then i'm going to set up light mix okay I'm going to click here and I'm going to say setup instance light mix. And when you come over here, you're going to see two light mix. The rest is just for unassigned light. They are going to be in the rest. Now let's go ahead and find out the one that is the daylight and the one that is the night light. Okay. So if I come over here and I click on this, you find out that the Corona Sky is the map 17. The night HDRI is the map 18. So I'm just going to come back in here. You're going to see map 17. I'm going to call it the light. This one, I'm going to call it the night light. All right, so I'm going to close this. Let's try and do an interactive render and see what we're going to have. All right, there are some things we are going to have to do. I'm going to go into the settings of this render, render setup, and I'm going to lock this camera here, and then I'll go to performance. I'm going to change this from this denoiser. I don't like that. You can see what we have. So I'm going to turn off this night render, and then come over here to the post and bring this down. Okay, yeah. Let me keep it one side. I want to go ahead and create, let me keep it here. I want to go ahead and create the Corona sun. We need the sun in this scene because you can see this is bluish. I can choose to adjust it using this. As you can see, it's no longer blue now, but I want to use the sun. Once you place the sun, the sun comes with its own warmth and it makes it not to be bluish again. So I'm going to add the Corona sun. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and set up this, the light means for the sun. So to do that, I'm going to open the render elements, click on add. Go down to light select, click OK. 
and then because i'm selecting this one if you're not selecting this one ensure that you're selecting this one click here i've added the corona sun and then i'm going to just come over here and just name it sun and then close it up i'm going to stop this and start a new one you're going to see sun in there now with which i can control the sun all right i'm going to come over here to the post there are some things I need to do. We are done setting up the day scene. And I want to just save out this post process. Okay. So that when we want to save out this file, when we're done rendering, we can just quickly set this thing up using the day same let me just add the bloom okay I'm just going to make this 9.1 use these other ones then add the, the sharp the sharpening and blurring i'm going to make this three i'm going to come over here and make this one all right okay so I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to turn off this daylight, turn off the sun, then turn on the night. Now I want to rotate this HDRI to get a better view okay, around. So I'm just going to open the render setup, drag it into this place and copy as instance. I'm going to make it small. Okay, then I'm going to start interactive render. Okay, so let's start um, rotating. I'm going to make it uh, 180. All right. I'm going to make it 150. 130. Okay, I'm going to make it 240. Very nice. Okay, I like the way this is showing here and here and here. All right. I'm going to increase this a little bit, make it a little bit warmer because now we're not going to be using the sun for that. Add some magenta. The contrast is already there. And by the time we start adding material, we'll now know whether to desaturate or not. Increase this um, S's, OT. So, um, something else that I want to make sure that is. To make sure that it's active before I proceed is the glass. I want to set the glass material. When I do that, I can be seeing the reflection of this cloud on the glass and then I'll know what I to, how to set it better. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here and select all the glasses. And I'm going to create glass material. And apply it to them windows as well we have a windows here all right so that's good i'm going to select the curtains now so i can apply some materials to it that will enable light pass through them okay so i am going to bring out the corona legacy material i'm going to change this to 0.5 the opacity so that light will pass through it then i'm going to put this in wireframe mode Select all the cuttings and I'm going to apply this to it. I'm going to select them and exclude them from the material override. So now when I put light, it is going to you know pass through it and come out because I've excluded them from the material override. So I'm going to now go ahead and add light. In this scene, I'm going to start with a sphere light. And I'm going to add it inside here. Start interactive render now. Turn on rest. If not, there will be nothing coming out. The light that I'm creating now is in rest. So for now, we're going to leave it turned on. Remember when I told you that lights that are, that are not assigned to any light mix will be assigned. So you can see unassigned, it's assigned unassigned light to it so i'm just going to come over here and make some settings to it because i want that light to be warm i'm going to make it like three six i will make it warm 
And now I'll start duplicating this light all over the place to create more interior lights. After that, I'm going to create light for this. I'm going to add light in this so that we can have lights shining underneath this place. Okay. I'll select this inside part and apply this light material to it. Okay, I've applied that light to all of them. So what I'm going to do now is to increase the intensity of this light and then change the color of it. But for now, I'm going to just leave it as just intensity increment. Let's see what it's going to be looking like now. I see that the light is shining as we want it to shine. Okay, now I'm going to increase the intensity even further. All right, so um, there are other lights in this outside area. We have lights underneath this. I will have lights here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and create those lights that we have. Select this and apply this to it. While I select this, duplicate this light. Apply it in there. Oh, now this is too bright now for me. So I'm going to make it like uh, 30 all right and let's see what we are but now before we see anything let me let me just start the interactive render so you, you get what i want to say now after the interactive rendering and there's nothing showing here that's because i have not allowed that light to show so i'm just going to come over here and in the preserve i'm going to preserve light material once I do that, you're going to see the light shining in there. All right, so now that I'm done setting up this to light me day and night, okay, you can go ahead and uh, do more posts. The camera, the light mix, uh, everything is set. I can just turn this off and uh, we can have the daylight and I will load in the daylight scene okay i'll just come over here and click on the daylight post process it is going to adjust the daylight to the daylight okay if i load in the night version of things it is going to adjust but i have to turn off the sun and turn on everything else so that the night scene would be the night scene all right so now that we know how we can do this and then if we want to save it out we're going to save it out and we're going to have the night scene so i'm just going to go ahead and um, set up put everything that i want to put put the trees set up the materials all those things the purpose of this video is to show you how you can set up two hdris so that you can be able to do this you know have to scenes day and night scenes in just one project file that you can just save out when you're done working okay so i'm just gonna do that right away so i have actually finished doing it i added forest park trees and hedges and all that in this place let me just go ahead and uh, do an interactive render so we we'll see what we've got all right this is the night version, the night render of things. Okay. I can add a light just from this side, a copy, so I can increase the intensity. Now I am going to I'm going to increase the intensity of that light. It's 0.5, I'm going to make it like 20. Yes. I'm going to have something like that over there. Very good. Okay, all this is in rest. Even here as well. 
and right about here. So that's the night shot. The daylight shot. We are going to have, you know, and then the sun. And we are going to come over here when we load in the day. This is what we're going to have. All right, you can see the trees, you can see the materials, everything is already there. So I'm going to go ahead and render this out. When we are done with the rendering, we are now going to see how we can save this thing out into two separate day and night render files. All right, so let me go ahead and um, do the final render setups and we can take it from there. I'm going to turn on the bloom and glare. I'm going to make this thing. 9.13 okay I'm going to make this 0.7 all right i'm also going to make this point 0.7 then for the sharpening and blurring i'm going to make here one oh sorry three and then i'm going to make here one that is going to sharpen things up I'm going to stop this. Um, for the desaturation, I'm going to desaturate it a bit Just like that. Okay. I oh, know it's okay like that. All right, so I'm just going to open the render setup to confirm some things now i changed the aspect ratio from hdtv to this okay and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to add 3000 in there now then for the scene the denoiser is corona high quality always keep your denoiser to set your denoiser to corona high quality it's, it's the best denoiser when it comes to production render i'm going to turn this off the clear view between renders now i'm going to open this and then i'm going to start the renders okay um i also turn on the clouds corona sky so now we're having clouds up there so i'm going to hit the render button now and then i'll see you when the render is done so we can save this out all right so now i'm done with the render so i'm going to stop it when I stop it, the denoiser will kick in and denoise every other thing that we are not taking care of in the render. So I'm going to wait for that to happen. All right, now it is done. We are done denoising. Let me go ahead and save out this daylight scene. So I'm going to just, normal way we save, hit save. I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to call it day scene. I'm going to remove one E. Oh. I'm going to save it as PNG and then 2.2 for the override gamma and I'm going to save. Say OK. All right, that has saved. And I'm going to go over to light mix, turn off this, turn off that, turn on the inner lights and then the night HDRI. OK, now I'm going to come over here and load in the night light process. I'm going to increase this rest a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to make this 0.3. And I'm going to add some magenta as well. All right, let me just very briefly increase the brightness of the HDR, right? Yeah. it's better if i reduce it some more all right so now that i'm done i've gotten what i'm looking for let me sharpen it still make it three make it one all right 
I'll now go ahead and save it out too. So I'm going to call this one the night scene. I'm going to save it as PNG and then override gamma 2.2. Okay, so I'm going to now save it out and then say okay. That is going to save it for me. Now we have, let me go ahead and open where I saved it in the desktop. You can see the, the nice scene that we saved out and then the day scene that we saved out all from a single project file that we worked on in 3ds max all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial all right thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next one